To the knights, I stood ready to open mouth kiss porcupines. I played pin cushions so well. There were couch cushions, stuffed full of cigarette cherries and headlines, waiting for us to fall asleep to burn the whole goddamn body down. To the knights, flirting with the inevitable and fucking the moment instead. Steering wheel tears, tempered glass tantrum, and the open arms of light poles. To the knights, I wanted to die. You don't own me. You, you don't, don't own me. You don't own me. In 2005, the ska punk band, the Arrogant Sons of Bitches, disassembled when members of the band followed the need to get real jobs. All of them with frontman Jeff. Jeff Rosenstock instead continued to make music and instead ended up living in his parents' basement. It was cold, it was damp, it was dark. We are nothing without reactions against our own environment. Jeff, Jeff, I'm baseball back to bar stool and brick wall boxing again. My hands are bleeding again and beating again, beating again. beating again. I'm like shoveling through splinters and not eating again. Jeff, it's hard to see how you handle it. I can handle all the handles, the hops, the hot box. I can't stop this shuddering and bone bruising. I just want to sleep, Jeff. I just want to stop crying, asshole, in the mirrors, Jeff. I just want to dream, dream of my blood in terms of running to the waters and leaving me like this, swirling and drained. The thing that no one ever tells you about depression is that it has nothing to do with being sad. It's feeling hollow, thin. Empty eggshell and rice paper walls, y'all. I don't know how to slow down most nights, but I know I can get so much reading done if I got laid up on the ICU. You don't own me. You don't own me, Jeff. Jeff, you overloaded your outlets. You frayed your cords. Let sparks fly to light up this basement. You used your busted-ass laptop as kindling because you needed this. But now I need this. We all need this sometimes. So let us swing guitar and duct tape into the darkness. We'll punch our shadows in their fucking dark parts. We'll take every shitty high school metaphor about razor blades and risk something to an amplifier. Let them rattle them using the carpet room in this year final. Seven inch there, all the problems. Climbing every towering inferno, deep burden leathery, self inflicted car wreck, the well intentioned pile of the break of the break in, the five years of writing gone, job terminated, direction spinning, skeleton scribbling, skeleton scribbling, ink to paper. They put ink on this paper, my problems, or ink on this paper, my problems. Don't look so big on this eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. Here in the of this final seven inch carved with a gut wrench and the muscle still clenched the size of your fist. They sound just like this. Help me out. Yeah, there we go. Here's where I blow up my voice. I'm grateful to sing. I'm grateful that every single day, every single one of us, every single time that we breathe, we are singing an anthem of survival, a soundtrack of going down swinging. Thank you for this. Thank you for the short footing. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. I'm not doing on time.